Hi everyone. Uh, for this video I want to go in and show you how to work with links within your web page. So we're going to take a little navigational bar that I've created and we're going to make it hyperlinks into other pages. And then we're also going to show you a couple other ways you can work with links um, such as creating a you know, link to a web page or a link to another part of the page that you're on. So let's get started. Uh, this uh, this uh, the way we have set it up here. I have a notepad on the left. I have my web page on the right, so I can see what's going on. This is the same web page um, I was using to create list for my other video. So I'm just going to add to it. So the first thing I want to do is I want you to notice on my browser over here that I have a section that I typed in with a notepad that has text here about us, contact us, email us and automatically what you know it's just simply I typed in some text if I take a look over my notepad here let's take a look at it here I'm going to scroll down a little bit this is the line that we're looking at you'll notice it has a P tag the words about us contact us email us and so forth now that line that's in between each of the text that's a good item to add in because it helps divide up each of the pages it makes it easier to understand and easier to read that line there is, a, is just a certain key on your keyboard if you take the look at the right of your letter P and usually it's right above your enter key it's like the third button to the right of the letter P on your keyboard so you'll have the slash and then right above it there's a little line with maybe two a hyphen in between and what you want to do is hold down your shift key and press that and that will automatically put that dividing line in for you. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click right before about us and I already have these pages created. So if I go in and look at my folder of where my home page is going to be stored I already have a page called about.htm. I already have a page called contactus.htm. So those pages should be already done. It's easier if you already have those pages done first because then when you create the link and you click on it, it'll go somewhere. Now, in most times when you set up a structure like this, when you're creating links to other fold or other pages, most of those pages are going to be in the same folder as your home page. Okay? Some people will create folders in the main section of your web server and put the other pages in those folders for a better organization. If that's the case then you're going to have to actually indicate that folder and then the page name. So that's why most of the time you're going to find that most people put all the pages together in one folder. It makes it easier to link back and forth. And then what we're <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here I'm going to be using the tag called the anchor tag. So it's basically the letter A. Okay? And I have to put in the attribute, and it's very simple. It's href, and what we're doing here is we're referencing that other page. We're referencing the other page. So we type that in, followed by equal sign. Then within quotations, you type the name of the page. So in this case, I'm going to type in, as my dogs go start barking, apologize that. Um, so we're going to type in about.html. Now again, keep this in mind, this would be the exact name of the page. And as we talked about in previous videos, you want to try to keep your names of your pages in lowercase. So don't put anything in uppercase because if we try to access it on certain browsers, we might not be able to access it. So lowercase is better. And try to avoid spaces within the name of your files. If you want to try to kind of go in and, and break it up, use an underscore instead. Underscore is up there where the hyphen is, right by the number zero. So never use spaces when it comes to naming. Now I'm going to put my bracket in, and at the end of About Us, i got to put my closing tag in. So it's just simply a slash A. So I'm going to repeat that. So I'm going to go right before Contact Us. I'm going to put in the A, H-R-E-F, equals, then in quotations, contact 
contact.html quotations. Now don't worry if your text wraps around to the next line. That has no effect on your browser's page over here on the right. And I'm putting a closing tag in. Just remember everything has to have a closing tag except for a couple a couple um, attributes. Now <clears throat> I'm going to leave this email alone for a second because I'm going to now save it. And let's take a look at here. You'll notice that when I refresh, there's a link here now, and it's underscore. So I'm going to click on that. This takes me to the page about us. I'm going to click on the back button. I'm going to click on Contact Us, and that takes me to the Contact Us page. So it found the page within that same folder. So all you're doing when you're adding links to a certain page is that you're going to reference the page by putting the page name within the anchor tag. That's it. So just like we did here, href equals in quotations contact.html. That's the reason why we I usually say create the pages first, those other pages, so when you link to it, you already have that there available. So let's do a couple other additional links. So here where it says email us, I'm not going to have it go to a page, I'm going to have it automatically open up a email program so it emails that you can email directly to the company. To do that you start off with A just like we did before and we start with href, it's all, that's going to be always identical. So we're not going to reference a page name, we're going to be referencing a email address. To do that we're going to type in mail to in quotations, you got to put that in quotations, mail to colon and then after the colon you put the email address and this is just a fake email address I'm typing in. And of course again look what I have here href colon mail to colon, I'm sorry, href equals sign, then in quotations, mail to colon, demo at dog.com. Don't forget a closing, A. And of course, let's go ahead and save it, and then the link becomes active. If I click on it, it's going to try to open up my email program. I don't have anything set up on my computer, but you will see it come up it'll ask me to start up. So if you have something set up automatically, it will automatically come up and be able to email directly to that client. I'm going to cancel that, so... <clears throat> so down here at the bottom, what I'm going to do is I have a area here that says visit the National Dog Park website today, click here. So this click here option, I'm going to go in and I'm going to have it link to a website that's not within our website or a web page that's not within our website. So to do that it's very simple, it's very similar to what we did before. We're going to start off with an A and again it's href equals, then in quotations you, put, you just put the address of the website. So make sure you spell it correctly. So I'm going to put http colon slash slash www.dogpark.com quotations bracket and then don't forget to put the closing tag in. So again you, with the href reference all you're doing here is you're automatically going in and typing out the actual website address. So now I'm going to save it. I'm going to refresh it. I come down here, notice that click here is now a link, and so I'm going to click there. This takes me to a website on dogpark.com, and it has information about dog parks. So I'm just clicking the back to go back to that. So again, just simple different links that you can incorporate into a web page. Another one that's really nice is notice how I have to scroll down to see everything onto this page. 
what I can do is I can have information down at the bottom that takes me back to the top if I wanted to. So we can call this basically it's referencing another part of your current page. So down to bottom, let's add some information here. So here I'm just going to type in, go to the top of the page. Okay, that doesn't do anything because there's no link there. It's just a paragraph tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the paragraph or the uh, link tag in, and then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reference that section of the page I wanted to go to. Now here's the problem. I'm going to put this in, and you're going to say, well, well, how did you come up with that name? So what I'm doing is I'm going to reference the top of the page. So it's going to go right back to the top. So let me close this first and let me explain something. First of all, it doesn't know what top is until you actually name a section. So you actually have to go into your code and name a section here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up here at the very top. I'm going to click right after the body section. And I'm going to put in the simply A, then the attribute name, not href, not href, so it's a little different here. So I'm going to put name equals, then in quotations, top. I'm going to put a closing tag in. Now there's nothing in between there. So, oops, and I forgot to, oh, I forgot a bracket over here, so let me put that bracket in. So, What's going to happen here, it doesn't matter if it's the word top, if you named it something else, it doesn't matter. As long as it's within quotations and that same name was located down here at the bottom. Followed by, or preceded by, a pound sign. You have to have that pound sign in. If you don't have the pound sign, it doesn't know what to do. So you have to name sections. You can actually have four or five name sections on your page and they can actually click on those links to go to that section. Again, this is only for this page, not for something else on a different page, only on this page. So when I click on save and click refresh, down here at the bottom, you'll see it says go to the top of the page. I click and now I'm at the top of the page. That's a very quick link. And it's very helpful to include that when you have a page that has a lot of text, like this does on the dog park page. So it's a very simple thing to do. And again, all you want to do is name the reference. So you got to name it. And then you're going to include another anchor tag somewhere in your document that actually references it. So that's where this A-H-R-E-F equals top comes in play. And don't forget the pound sign before the word top. So again, very simple aspect of working with links. You're seeing a variety of different things that you can actually include. Another aspect of this, and remember, every tag you can control the style. So if you wanted to come back up here to the top and add a style to the A tag, you can do so. You know, so that's the biggest thing. That's what a lot of people like going in and doing and working with. So, for example, if I come up here and I come up and change A, I put the A in. I'm going to put the bracket in. I'm going to just. I'm going to take the um, color here from the heading one. I'm just going to take the color from this section right up here. I'm going to paste it down, put a colon in, semicolon, and don't forget my brackets. I can change what the color of the text looks like if I needed to. If I needed to. So again, you can go in and you can customize those uh, the styles of the anchor tag. So whenever you see that, 
it automatically be a certain color, a different color, or it could be a different style, different font. So that gives you a little brief idea on how to work with the anchor tag within your pages. So it's not too hard. Again, just have to remember the coding and what, where do you type what in that case.